let's now try to use the inverse matrix formula to find the inverse of matrix A. Um, we need to find its determinant and then we need to calculate its nine cofactors. So let's try to do um, the determinant first, find the determinant. So let's look at the determinant. We are going to use a combination of row operations and also cofactor expansion to find the determinant. And we see this is 1, so we're going to use this one to eliminate negative 1 and 1 over here. So by the rule we have over here, if we add and multiply to another row, the determinant is not going to be changed. So we have 1, negative 1, negative 1. And add the first row to the second row, we have 0 and 1 and 2 over here. Now, if we multiply negative 1 and add to the third row, we have 0 over here and 2 over here. Um, and then we have 5 over here. All right. And then we expand it along the first column. So this is going to be simply equal to 1 times this smaller size determinant 1, 2, and 3, 2, 5. Let's put 1 over here. Okay, And that would be 5 minus 4, and the determinant is exactly 1. Okay. Now we're going to calculate cofactors. First, let's look at C11. So C11 means we're going to remove the first row and the first column, and we find the determinant is going to be 2, 3, 1, 4. So we will have 8 minus 3, that's going to be 5. And keep going. Remember C12 has a negative sign. And then we have remove um, the first row, second column, we have negative 1 and 3 and 1 and 4. And then we will have 7. Okay. And continue, we have C13 is going to be equal to negative 1, 2, and then 1, 1 over here. And we end up with negative 3. Okay. So now we finished the first row, let's do the second row. And we have C21, the cofactor of A21 is going to be, again, negative sign, remember. And then neg um, we have negative 1, negative 1. And then we have 1, 4 over here. And we have the value 3. Okay. And C22 is equal to... Um, C2, we have positive sign, and we have 1, negative 1, and 1, and 4. And that's going to be 4 plus 1 is going to be 5. Okay. And we do C2, 3 is equal to negative. Again, now we have 1, negative 1, 1, 1 here. And that's going to be negative 2. Now we have the last row, cofactor C31 is going to be equal to negative 1, negative 1, 2, and 3. That will give us negative 3 plus 2 is going to be negative 1. Okay, C32, we will have, again, negative sign because we have plus, minus, plus, minus the signs alternate, so we have negative 1, 3 over here. And that will give us negative 4. Okay, and then we have the last one, C3, 3. It has a positive sign, and we have 1, negative 1, negative 1, 2 over here. So that's going to be 2 minus 1, so it's going to be 1. So now we are ready. Since determinant is simply 1, so we have A inverse. Okay. 
we're going to copy the rows, but in the column way because it's transposed. So what do we have over here is 5, 7, negative 3. 5, 7, negative 3. And then second column, 3, 5, negative 2. 3, 5, negative 2. Last column, negative 1, negative 4, and 1. And that is the inverse of this matrix A.